The Tech Stars program is one in which we take in beginners and then we train them on some various levels of technology. Either it's programming or it's product management. Now, we're going to skew this to say, let's hire just guys that have done software uh, development in school and all of that. But we're like, no, there are some people who didn't study it in school, but they have great passion for this. My name is Zulua Tosin Labanji. I studied economics from National Open University. I'm a graduate of animal production. I studied environmental biology. We got all of these guys together and that was how we started the ATS 1.0. With regards to the selection process for the first cohort, I would say it was pretty straightforward. We had hundreds of applications to stream that down. We had them go through an assessment, yeah. After which we actually, you know, selected the best 30 with the best performances to be hired. I know how many applications these things can get, and I know how difficult it can be to actually be accepted into such programs, so I was anxious. Fortunately, I got a positive result. So when I got selected, <laughs> I was happy. When I got the call, I acted chill. But when I ended the call, I freaked out. Actually, I had missed feeling because they said they were going to train us and pay us. So it's not something that's common in Nigeria. So, so I came here, I checked the building. If it was actually real and <laughs> it was. So upon seeing our names then, we were just happy. Like the moment I saw my name, I'll be honest, I was in Ibadan the next day. Length of the program is six months. The first five months is the learning phase. And then the last month is for their final assessments. My learning experience with the back end track of this program has been, let me say, a roller coaster. It was really difficult because I was always thinking they would like divide the class into beginner and intermediate and US, but so just all together. When I came in, I wanted to be a product manager. When I came in, I knew zero to nothing about the program, nothing about being a PM. First month, second month, I was struggling, but no one really knew I was struggling. But within me, I think Awal and Lukman knew I was kind of struggling, but I just believed that, okay, like with time, with time, with hard work, perseverance, and a little bit of patience. They told us that we can actually pick anything we like to be. So I was like, okay, I can actually change. Let me just be a back end developer. I learned the Python programming first. When I started learning, I didn't know it was going to be that difficult or that challenging for me. So from a trainer's perspective, um, looking at how they came in, knowing absolutely nothing, to so the level at which they are in now, where they are building really scalable applications, um, using React, which is based on JavaScript, sometimes it's just mind-blowing. Yeah, we started with that program language. That's the core program language, but the framework we used is a um, flutter at first when i started flutter it wasn't easy actually but i have to be to to stand to stand firm with time i caught up new python we moved to django then we started building apis using django rest framework we had some of them build e-commerce websites we had some do a notepad application um, I remember a contact application, contact management application. The first project, I was asked to build um, a proton mail. I had issue with a particular aspect of CSS, which is overflow. So, but my store was able to guide me on proper way to arrange different sections in the website. There's this code pattern called block. Block seems like, nah, that thing is for senior engineers. In fact, the person who advised me to even learn what I said, block is for engineers with over 10 years of experience. And I'm writing block like smoothly. There are so many things I thought I couldn't do on normal day due to my course of study. But then coming here to start this whole tech journey and the rest, ah, I'm like, ah, I'm going to go more bad now. Okay. I can do it, other people too can do it. So it's been really nice. The environment that FX created that made the learning easy were number one, they gave us a system that could take in most of this application. I came with my system actually because they said they were going to pay. I feel like at least I should not expect them to provide system again. So I came with my system. So I was shocked when they, they, they told us they are going to be giving us laptop. Brand new system. So it was... <laughs> and particularly uh, a MacBook. Everything was just strange to me because I was not, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I'll be honest, my personal system, once I, there's, a, there's an editor called PyCharm, we use it for writing Python codes. If I load PyCharm on my system, my system hangs. So can you imagine me trying to learn 
with my own system. And also, we had internet. We didn't have any issue with lights. Everything we needed to like to bring out the best in us was provided. All we just want you to do is come in here. We have um, free Wi-Fi, free electricity. Just come learn. You're given systems. And occasionally, there's also free food. So the problems that you have, just drop them aside. Come here and just learn and make something out of it. Well, this program has really impacted me so much because I didn't know that I'll actually be where I am today. Like, I can actually write Python programming language. The growth I experienced majorly is that confidence in building stuff, building projects. Because before, I, I, I wasn't sure of myself as a developer. There's something we call imposter syndrome. Now, I don't, even, I don't even know what it feels like to have that syndrome anymore. The program is a success and I'm one of the success stories. Now that these guys are ending their program and with the shortage of talent in the market, the goal is to absorb them into, into Apex. Part of the fulfillment for us is that even though we may not absorb you... At the end of the program, it is a win-win for all candidates who have participated in the program. And the reason is, you still get to live with some very valuable skills that have been learned over time. We believe that if we set up this platform to train people, we would be able to, number one, solve for our own needs, which is to hire quality people that would join the organization and solve some of the technical problems they're trying to solve with the ecosystem, right? We would also be able to help the um, community that we live in. So at every time T, at the end of every ATS program, the intention would be that we we'll hire some of them, and the others that we are not hiring would have be, been equipped enough to have enough skills to then go out there and get fantastic jobs for themselves. My advice for the new cohorts would be they should be ready to learn and unlearn. Also, you don't just come with the mindset of, okay, things are hard, ah, let me drop out, ah, I'm no more doing it again, or stuff like that. Like, things will always be hard. That is life. Moreover, we live in Nigeria, so. I'm a beam, I'm an expert, and I love doing expert things. I'm Reed One, I'm an expert, and I'm doing expert things. My name is Owen. My name is Bimpe Oladidodamola. My name is Kodri. Adebusola Adeye. Ibrahim Graham. My name is Owen Abiyadishola Abbas. And I'm ready to do expert things.